What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about products I was loving in the month of January. I have a lot of stuff to talk to you about here. A lot of not beauty stuff, but a few beauty related things as well. I love to mix in lifestyle along with all the beauty content I create. I was really inspired this month because I went to Hawaii, so there's a lot of products from that and also just products that I was really inspired by in the new year. Also, if you're new here, Welcome, my name is Erin. I am a full-time nurse. I live in the Midwest with my husband and wiener dog and I just love to create beauty content in my free time. So yeah, I make videos for YouTube. I make a lot of content on my Instagram, TikTok. It's all under the same name. If that's something you think you'd be into, make sure to subscribe and keep on watching to see my January favorites. I'm just gonna start by saying that some months it's hard to come up with favorites. Sometimes there's nothing new or exciting to talk about that you really love in a month, or at least for me. And this month I had to like kind of cut it down because there were so many things in my life happening that really like made me discover old favorites, new favorites. Um, the main things being the new year, I was really just like inspired to get organized in the new year and you know make a plan and goals and all that. So th some things have to do with that. And then the other big thing is we went to Hawaii for 10 days. So there are just a lot of things that I either brought with on that trip, discovered on that trip or I don't know, just really was loving when I was there. So yeah, that's really why I have so many favorites to talk about, but I don't want to speak too long because it's going to take me a bit. I'm literally surrounded by things that I want to talk to you guys about, so. Also, this hair and makeup combo is a Rihanna-inspired look because she just came out that she's pregnant and she was in that beautiful pink jacket with her belly showing and all the jewels, and I just was in love with her hair and makeup, so I tried to recreate it in my own way. I'll have it up on a reel on my Instagram, but yeah, so I just had to rock it for this video, too. I'm going to be going back and forth between beauty products and lifestyle products just because that makes it a little bit more fun and interesting. Alright, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the big thing that's really related to my New Year's refresh and just getting organized and what really helped me. If you're like me and you are an avid list maker, like I'm talking, I have multiple notebooks filled with lists. There's lists in my backpacks, in my purses, um, just laying around the house everywhere. Uh, in my notes app in my phone and that's fine and I've never really found a planner that works for me because I don't necessarily need to go by the calendar like I put my work schedule in my phone I put my appointments in my phone um, but I'm just a really big list maker and I've never found anything that was like super great for organizing for me and I recently discovered I have an iPad um, it was me and my husband um, I have a, the big iPad Pro like the bigger version as you can see so I've had that for a while, that's not new. But um, I had seen people, I think on TikTok I originally saw that people were using these planner presets in the GoodNotes app. So the I'll link it down below, but I got some presets off of Flourish Planner on Etsy. Uh, but first I downloaded the GoodNotes app. This is what it looks like. I believe it's a one-time payment of under $20. And with the app, you can make different notes. You can make them bulleted. You can make them look like a blank piece of paper, a notebook. Um, you can really make it look like any piece of paper you want. And then the other thing is when I discovered these presets for like planners for your iPads on Flourish, I think it's called Flourish Planner. Um, they have an Etsy page where you just can click a link and buy and download whatever preset interests you. They literally have a planner for anything and everybody. I just paid like $3 and got what's called the Minimalist Daily Planner. I'll pop it up here. And it just has a spot to like plan your day out at the beginning of your day. It's really to-do list oriented. It has a date, today's to-do list, um, healthy habits, affirmations. And I usually fill that out almost every day, especially on my days off, not necessarily always on the days I work, but it just gives me like a good rundown for my day. And then the other thing I use when I'm using this app and this planner is this knockoff Apple Pencil. So this is not a real Apple Pencil. This was about $30 on Amazon. It works great. Um, I don't know any different because I've never had an Apple Pencil, but um, I really have been loving it. Um, on the iPad and the GoodNotes app, you can use this and really draw and write anything you want. You can see here that I've written out my plan for this video 
And on the Good Notes app, I've really just planned out my life. Like I have um, my spending in here, I have my beauty purchases, I have my goals for myself, content ideas, and I can make them each a little folder and all my to-do lists are in one. I can write them so it feels like I'm writing on paper. Um, yeah, I know that's a lot and might seem kind of complicated. So if you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments. I would love to help because this has helped me a lot and it's just helped me feel so much more organized. And also, um, they link to my iCloud so I can open up these notes on my phone at any time as well. Next favorite is one that I've been loving, I think kind of before the month of January, but I did just post a tutorial and review on it a couple of videos back if you want to check it out. But it is the Dyson Airwrap. I have loved this since I got it from my sister. If you want to hear the story, you can watch my video. It's really the only thing I've used to do my hair except for my Amica Waver, which is what I did with my hair today. I've just been loving this. The main attachments I use are the pre-style dryer, I use the blow-up brush, and then I use the smaller barrel curlers. It's just, it's all in one. I did bring all those attachments to Hawaii. I need a traveler case uh, for it, like a formal one, but I just um, took the attachments off and then stuck it in like a travel bag and that worked fine and it was safe in there. It was like a little like drawstring makeup bag that some company sent me. But anyways, I have really thin fine hair and this dries my hair really quickly to the point of being almost dry where I can style it. I love this round brush for just blowing out my hair. It gives me more of a fluffy um, stylized look than just blow drying it and straightening it and I love how beautiful and wavy my curls look when I use the barrel curlers. These are the 1.2 inch I believe. If you want to see what these look like I did do a demo on these in my Dyson review video but yeah this is just so good. I haven't really used anything else in my hair and I had to mention it. All right next we have a bag purse backpack that I brought with me to Hawaii and I kind of bought it specifically for the trip. I'm going to use it a lot more I know but it is this bag from I'm not sure if the brand is pronounced Ori or O-R-I, but this is their Canefield backpack, Canfield backpack. This I found at a boutique that my mom's friend owns. My mom had a different style in one of their backpacks and I really, really liked it. I was just looking for something that I could bring with me on the trip that could be casual because Hawaii is like overall a very casual place, um, weatherproof but big enough where I could like take it on a hike or to the beach if I wanted to add a few more things in here, but also small enough where it could be a purse. And this was perfect for that. It just has a lot of different pockets in it that were really, really nice. I love the navy blue. It has a snap top with a zipper, so it felt secure. There's a lot of pockets in there. There's like a little mini phone iPad pocket. I can't really show you. And then there's a two, about two small zipper pockets for like glosses and you know, fun stuff. And then I would typically put my phone in this back pocket here and it was easy to get to. And then there's a little side pocket as well. I just found that this fit everything I needed. And I also felt confident that it's weatherproof or like if something spilled on my bag or if it got wet, my stuff was gonna be safe in here. And yeah, I just really like it. It's pretty affordable. I saw it. I obviously got it at a boutique, but I saw it for about $60 on sale at Shields. I'll try to link it down below for you guys. And it comes in a ton of colors. There's like a mustard color and I really want it in that color too. But yeah, I love a good backpack purse and I really, really loved using this. I do have just one skincare item. It is the Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Now this is not new to me. This is something that I've really been enjoying and I have the full size in their older packaging. They recently repackaged to this cute um, red, more recyclable packaging, I think, or it, the packaging is recycled. I'm not sure. But I picked up a mini at the Little Sephora checkout before we left just because when we travel, you know, there's a lot of masks now, which is different. And even before masks, with, you know, going from the cold, dry climate to the hot, humid climate, sometimes my skin can just freak out. And you know, you're not always in your exact normal skincare routine, the water is different, blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to get this to have something that would be like a good 
kind of essence toner step in my skincare routine that could be gentle and soothing and this was definitely that for me i used it every time i did my skincare and i also used it in between flights because we wore n95s which are extra tight safe masks and my face just got really really dry under there and i love to just spritz this on to refresh my skin and i used it a ton and it's only about half gone and then i'm going to keep this bottle and just refill it from my larger size and yeah if you just like something simple that's soothing and calming to your skin you should definitely try this mist out of course i have a few makeup favorites to talk about that i used on the trip if you're curious about what i all packed i did do a little pack with me over on my reels on my instagram page which is just at aaron's beauty obsession but i packed two foundations i believe two and a mini but I definitely underestimated how tan I would be. I self tan my body before I went. I really never tan or self tan my face. I just try to match my makeup to my body. I find that I never get tan enough that I really care that there's a difference, you know what I mean? But I just like didn't really think about the shades of foundation. I just thought about the formula kind of and figured it would work. And let me tell you, I it just didn't work. I brought the Huda Beauty foundation stick that I recently got which is a great like winter shade for me but like the first night I went and applied it and even before I'd really been in the sun and got a real tan with my fake tan I just looked like a ghost like white on my face and so I really didn't use anything but this. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. This has been a favorite skin tint of mine for such a long time and the shade ST7 Diaz is not super super fair it's dark enough and light coverage enough that it really did work with my tan let me show you what the shade looks like i obviously am still a little bit tan i don't know if you can tell but this is a good tan shade for me and i think because the coverage is a lot lighter and you can just rub it in with your fingers which is what i typically do it really blended in with my skin tone i added a little bronzer and i felt like it worked great at first i was like oh my god i'm gonna look like a ghost if i wear any makeup on this trip but this worked beautiful i forgot how much i love this formula i just take a, like you don't even need a full dropper full maybe like a half a dropper I like to let my skincare and SPF set all the way and then I'll go in with about a half a dropper of this and just rub it in with my fingers and don't be scared it looks really really dewy and glowy at first but then once it sets down it has a beautiful finish that just perfects the skin and even skin tone but also lets your skin shine through if you want a little bit more coverage in areas you can always add concealer and this is also spf 40 so this is just absolutely perfect and i love this i forgot how much i love this i fell back in love with it i have something totally random but i definitely think it's worth sharing with you guys because it definitely made a difference for me if you like snorkeling at all um i highly recommend i'm not gonna put this on because it does look absolutely ridiculous but it's a full face snorkel mask i got this off amazon it was like 35 bucks and i've snorkeled on a couple different vacations before including in hawaii we just got like cheap snorkel masks and fins last time and brought them with us because my husband is a snorkeling freak like anytime we're at the beach he's snorkeling and he always wants me to go with him but the last time I just really had a hard time like keeping my like water out of my mask I sucked in water and I just freak out that I'm gonna just I just don't like it and a couple of my friends had said try the full face mask it feels a lot better um, if it, it just seals a lot <laughs> it seals really well and you might look like you're going to go to outer space but it's worth it because I just felt safer like I wasn't gonna get water in my eyes and I, I didn't feel as trapped as I do um, with a normal mask I will say if it's a little bit harder to breathe a little more constricting to breathe but um, and it, if you come up from the water you have to take this completely off so it's a little bit different that way but for the issues I have with snorkeling this made me feel a lot better i was able to snorkel a lot longer and more comfortably with this mask and if you struggle with those things i sh think you should try it just ignore how ridiculous you look everyone looks ridiculous when you snorkel just try it and it was worth it because we saw so many beautiful fish and some sea turtles so yeah i have two other makeup items to mention here the first is kind of random 
but I just want to mention it. It is from Ico. You know, I call the liner that they always send in Ipsy. That's actually where I got this. But the thing that made me use this is it's their Black Magic Cocoa Edit Liquid Liner. So it's a brown liner. And after this came in the mail, I was like, you know, I haven't had a brown liquid liner in a long time. And I've been wanting one. And so I just started to use it. I'm actually wearing it today. And what I really like about this is it's just perfect to apply just a little flick of liner to the outer corner i don't really necessarily sometimes i get carried away and i put it way too far in on my eye and i just like when liquid liner can just elevate and elongate the outer corners of my eye and sometimes i'll just add the tiniest flick and it really makes my eyes look more defined and it doesn't look harsh like a black liner would I don't know if this formula is the best brown liner ever. I just think that I like the trick is what I'm trying to tell you. Just a little flick of brown liner has been my thing. This is good. I don't, I'm sure there are better out there because it's not the most pigmented, I would say. It takes a couple um, strokes to really get it on there. But overall, I really like this and I'm just really into some liquid liner and brown has been working really well for me and I've been enjoying this. Yeah, the Cocoa Edit Liquid Liner. So if you got this in an Ipsy bag, you should try it. The other product I could not put down when we were in Hawaii is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Lip Gloss in the shade Free Spirit. This kind of got lost in the back of my glosses. I knew I loved this product, but I just wanted to bring a nude gloss with me. And this is so beautiful. I love the formula. It's got just enough pigment to throw on over a liner. It's the perfect beachy, peachy nude shade. And it has like a almost a lemony, fruity scent to it. I brought some other liners, but I really, really found myself reaching for this the most because I really didn't use a lot of like pinks and purples over there. I was all about like the nudes, the warm tones, and this gloss just went really well with it. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the shade. I love the formula. It's like a balmy, lip cushiony, not super oily, but a little bit. And it does like plump up your lips and just makes them look really, really nice. And there's enough pigment that you can just wear it over a liner and it's so good. Getting down to the last bits here, I have two kind of lifestyle items and then one fragrance. Let me just start by saying I like to read a lot, especially lately I have been getting more into books instead of watching TV and I brought two books with me on the trip and I actually read them both right away and had to go to Barnes and Noble and buy three more and I've just been reading like crazy and really enjoying it and um, yeah, I bought a Kindle because I just don't, <laughs> I've been reading so many books that um, you can save money if you get a Kindle but I'll be reviewing that later. For reference, I've really been liking reading like light romance books. Some of them are spicy. If that's your thing, you'll probably like the books I'm gonna talk about. I just haven't been into reading anything that serious because I work in a really serious job. I'm an ICU nurse and with COVID and everything, I just like to read something fun that I can get lost in and that's just what I like and there's nothing wrong with that. Any book that you like is one that you should read. So out of the four books I read in Hawaii, I wanna mention two of them to you. The first one is Paris is Always a Good Idea by Jen McKinley. So this is my second book I've read of hers. I actually read Wait For It first, which is has a character, the main character's sister. That's what Wait For It is about, but anyway. I'm getting off on a tangent, but I like this one better. It's just the perfect vacation read. The character, she realizes she's kind of lost in her life after losing her mom seven years ago. She's almost 30 and she doesn't have a significant other and she doesn't know if she believes in love. So she goes back to where she spent a year abroad after college and fell in love with three different men. And she goes back to Ireland, back to Italy, and um, France and it's just such a cute story. It's a perfect vacation read. There's a little bit of spice in here but not anything crazy and yeah it was just such a feel-good read. A little bit predictable but I don't mind that. Um, I just really enjoyed it. The other book I want to mention is The Love Hypothesis. This is my first book by Allie Hazelwood I read but I've seen this book going all over TikTok and I could not put this book down and it was one that 
I was really really into and I couldn't stop thinking about like the storyline after I read it. I It's honestly one that I would read again. But what I think I really like about it is that it's set in an, an academic setting which is really different for a romance book. I actually have a biology degree that I got before I went for nursing so I'm really familiar with everything that they were talking about. It's a PhD student and the like one of the professors like or new grads I'm not sure but um, just the storyline is so cute obviously they fall in love but the story behind it is just really interesting and there is definitely like a couple chapters of spice in the middle if that's something that you're into I just I highly recommend giving this book a try it's such a good read and then we actually have a bathing suit that I found in Hawaii so I I've been like wearing one pieces for the last couple of years or like high-waisted bottoms and I just decided that I wanted to try some cheeky swimsuits. I got one from Revolve I really like but then I was shopping and I found this set from McKenna Collection. It's actually a Maui made brand and I will link up a picture you can see like a better picture of it but it's the pearl top and bottom um, in the shade Amazon Green. I love the color. The um, fit of this is just so fun and kind of sexy and sassy. It's almost a little bit high-waisted, but it's also high-cut and a little bit cheeky. I just felt like it was a an age-appropriate sexy swimsuit, and it was made out of really good material. It's really um, worth a little bit of a splurge. It's a little bit more expensive of a bathing suit than I normally buy. It's $78 per piece, but if you want to explore some different styles of swimwear I highly recommend I will be shopping from them again they have an online store I'll link it down below but I've been really obsessed with this swimsuit and that's like really the only swimsuit I wore after I bought it while we were there because it's so so cute and then lastly we have the fragrance I brought with me to Hawaii so I have been doing this thing the last couple trips where I buy a mini perfume for whatever trip I'm going on and so I'll wear it when I'm there and when I wear it again when I get home it will evoke memories from that trip and I've been loving doing that I used um, YSL black opium in Ireland and now I'm really love that scent and I searched for a fragrance for this trip and it's hard because I really didn't want to go in stores if I could avoid it because of COVID and I didn't want to catch COVID before we went sniffing perfumes in a store because you got to take down your mask and whatever and um, I ordered Dolce & Gabbana Garden I think that's what it's called I liked that but I didn't love it there was something about the coconut in it that I just didn't like it's kind of the same thing about beach walk that just wasn't my favorite those two are very similar if you like beach walk you'll probably really like Dolce Garden so I gave in I went to Ulta at a time like no one was there I smelled a few perfumes and I actually found this um, Mugler I think that's the brand it's alien goddess actually a follower recommended this to me which is why I smelled it in store this is just the most beautiful, warm, gourmand, but fruity vanilla. In the description, this is why I can't buy perfumes online because if I would have read this online, I wouldn't have thought that this is a fragrance that I would really want for Hawaii. I'll pop the notes up here, but it says that it's a floral fragrance that has notes of bergamot, um, jasmine and vanilla from Madagascar I don't know it's just a warm beachy vanilla I don't know this is just so good and I'm really glad I bought it you can see I used quite a bit of it while we we're there the little um, bottle is really interesting this just smells delicious and warm but beachy at the same time if you like any of the notes that I put up I definitely recommend you go smell this and see if you like it too because I was pleasantly surprised and I will be definitely wearing this again when the weather gets warm. Alright guys, we finally made it to the end of all my favorites for the month of January. I know I had a lot, but there's a lot that happened in January and a lot of things I just wanted to talk to you about. I'm going to try to link everything that I can down below in the description box for you guys so you can check out all these great products. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and we will see you in my next video. Bye!